just like a tonics It never lets up on you Who said life was easy The job was never true It'll run us till we rag it It'll harden our hearts And love could use a day of rest Before we both start falling apart Sam, Sam, you. Hmm. What happened? Hmm. Nothing. Huh? Nothing. There's something. Nothing, nothing. What? Nothing. It's not nothing. Hmm, nothing. What are you doing, Sam? Nothing. What? Nothing, are you? Show me that. Sam, you gotta tell me, Sam. You have to. I had this dream and I was like a nightmare. There's this dry land I'm walking through. What happens is like after a while my legs, I can't feel them now. And as it goes, like my hands just start freezing. My vision gets blurry. You know, it just starts fading away. All it starts getting dark, and I feel like as if I'm falling. I'm in black, okay. And I'm walking through this, you know, this dry land, and you know, they, suddenly, all of a sudden, my legs they go numb. My hands I can't feel, and, and everything is getting you know a bit faded. It's getting faded. And, no, it was all getting dark. I just fainted. You no, know I just fell fainted. Where's you going? That was me. That happened to me. How could Sam see it as a dream? How, how can that be a dream? That that I fell, I fell fainted. That happened to me. I I don't know. I how is that possible? That happened to me. Sam, Sam, Rex, we're going. All right, like whole times. Where? Never land.
Kita pun nak nyerum dulu. Tak ada, tak ada lah ni. Kita pun ada dulu lah. Kita ni ni lagi betul. Eh, ada ni lagi ni. Eh, apa ni? Hah? Kau isi? Oh, siapa yang kasih bot? Where do you want to? Sexy. Can't believe you didn't do anything to make her happy, man. Shut that, Sam. Shut that. Bastard. I don't get it, you know. Disgusting, you both are. Fucking disgusting bitches. I need to ask you about something. Uh, yeah. Not again, yaar. Rexy! Sam! All right, bitches. <coughs> I'm telling you, it's time you come out. Sam! This is it. This is all! Sam! Guys, you people know I cannot be alone. Why did you have to do that to me once again? That was a nice show. What? What the fuck are you smiling? You, you, you think this is a play? Do you think so? Sam, you know I cannot be alone. Why do you have to do this to me again? What the bastards! Why in the hell are you smiling? What the fuck just happened? Alright. Fucker, you know I cannot be alone. Why did you have to leave me there all alone? We never do this. Last time when you pulled this on me, I told you that was a bloody last time. Not another time, guys. Do you know how embarrassing this is for me? Dude. What in the, what in the hell do you think you're about to explain? You think I'm gonna buy that? Why in the fucking hell do you think you're doing this to me? Ed, you have to listen first. What? What to listen? You guys do all the bloody shit you think you try to do on me. Then you tell me to listen to you. Is that what you want? Dude, before you yell at us, you should listen to us first, okay? Give us a chance to speak. What in the hell do you want to explain, by the way? Huh? Dude, come on, dude. Do, do you even know? Give me a break. Stand over there, man. Okay, I'm bloody giving you a break. Now you explain to me what happened. Okay, first of all, why are you so upset, man? We didn't do anything so big. Yeah, what did you do? I can't, I can't believe this is a small thing for you all. Hey, it's just a small thing though. How could you leave me there back alone? You always do that alone man, we never take you over there. You do so it you alone, you've been always doing it alone man, seriously. I, I, are you trying to say I'm, I'm doing something wrong? Is this what you're telling? Am I, am I overdoing it? Is, is this what you think? 
Well, actually, let me tell you, it's like, I'm out of my mind. So it's like, it's just a normal thing which you do, you've been doing from quite a long time and you're doing it alone. You never expect us to do that for you. Why in the hell? Shit. I can't believe that was all a dream. Oh my god, so embarrassing it is. How am I gonna look at these people? It's so embarrassing. I can't believe it's all a dream. I was seeing a dream all this while. I. Uh, whoa. Shit. What's going on with you, bro? I don't know. I. What happened to you? I don't know guys, I'm sorry about this thing. I... Guys, I'm sorry, okay? I mean... You know what? That was quite a show you did. I know, but... Man, you always sleep alone, man. We don't sleep together. Rexy, you know, I... I'm sorry, alright? Why are you staring at me? Hmm. Sam. Seven, I said I'm sorry. You know, no, nothing, not that. Man. It's another dream. I know it's embarrassing, but. Mm. Sam. I'm sorry, Sam. It's like some. No, I got a freaking nightmare. We, we were in Neverland, and what happened is like I'm talking to you guys, and then I started staring at water, and we were having a bird. Then all of a sudden when I look back, you know, when I you know, look for you guys, you both are not there, you both just Rexy, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Sam. Like I, I started searching for you guys and then when I was searching for you guys I just fell down. And, and like all of a sudden, you know, you guys were not there. Like I said, you guys were not there, just some beer cans over there. That's all. Is that it? Is that it? Is that all? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Sam, listen. <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know why we're trying to do something. Like oh, you're doing wrong, man. Why? It, you, what, it, what's wrong with you, man? I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Cut the crap. I want you to do something. Uh, Alright? I'm gonna tell you that. I'm gonna ride away doing that thing. Is that clear? Is that clear, thing? Okay, you're going to slap me, alright? Oh, what's wrong slap with you? Me. Sam, slap me, Sam. Dude, what's Sam, slap me, Sam. What, I'm what's telling you something, slap me. Slap me. Just slap me, I'm telling you. Dude, what's wrong am with I, you? Am I asking for something more? Just just slap me. Dude, what's fucking wrong with you, man? I just need to make sure this is real. Oh, God. Are we all in the dream world? Dude. Come on. It's Jan 2001 and it's daytime now. Thank God it all looks normal. I hope everything is practically normal. Can I be sure? You don't know what I'm being through. Right. Now can I make it? Okay, alright, see. I cannot make you see. I cannot tell you what this is all about. All I'm telling you to do is just slap me. God I'm damn it. Bloody slap me, dude. I'm not ready to slap me. I'm gonna slap you for no reason, man. Right. So you won't do this small thing for me? Can't you do this small thing for you, man? Slap me, motherfucker! Now I think I should be sure. No, what's wrong with you, man? No. You've been acting weird lately. No, you don't, you don't have to be. What happened? Tell no, no, you don't have to be sorry. I wanted you to do it. No, it's, it's uh, really you know, freaking me out, man. You're getting up all of a sudden, scolding us, and then asking me to slap me. What's wrong with no, you, no, man? No, I have to. Sorry. <sighs> anyway, I'm just, I'm just a little off the grid. And that's I'm freaking us out. I'm just trying to figure it out.
of sleep, our brain grows so busy that blood flow to it nearly doubles. So that we can't... I think I should probably go to Neverland and check if there's something that I can get.
dream again or just the reality god i can't afford for another dream not this time oh. all right This right this time. Everything is usually normal as before. Oh, I couldn't have afforded for another one. Guys, uh, I'm moving. Yeah, right. But no, I, I need a movie. Let's see. What the fuck you looking at, old man? What the fuck is crazy? What the fuck is crazy? Let it go, old man. Shut up, pussy. What's all that shit? You're trying to get yourself a shit. I thought you Asian girls were supposed to be smart. I never had a neighborhood like that. It's a fast way to get you in the obituary. I, I, I know, I know. Take it easy. What about that goofball guy? Is that a date or something? Yeah, I know. A dream is a convoluted combination of events that strike you in a day or two. Convoluted combinations of events that strike you, events which have happened to me, events, things, bad happening, happening. What the fuck was that dude? Is this the way to put it on? Come on dude, you know the relation between those two men. How can you just tell him to be him like that man? Or you're made of a stone or something, huh? Insensitive bastard. They're supposed to put it in a you know, much more easier way so that he can take it in. Give him time to take it in man. What was that? He was his mentor for crying out. So, so what happened? I'm really sorry, it was really unfortunate. Ajay was walking on the road and all the people who saw him said that he fainted. They said he fainted and he died. I'm really sorry for your loss.
fainted. They said he fainted and he died. I'm really sorry for your loss. Sure, we live in a hostel, man. No, the, the place where the three of us lived. Who three of us? Me, you, and Rex, dude. I. You, you remember the house, the uh, Niles Cottage? Dude, dude, dude. Uh, which Rex are you talking about? Rex? Who means what? Rex, dude. Rex. Dude, I'm pretty sure that I don't know any Rex, and even you don't. Know. What are you saying? What? We never knew any Rex, dude. Which Rex are you yeah. talking about? Can I, can I talk to you back? Call you back later, okay? Yeah, no? okay, yes. Just take care, man. Christ, I can't believe all that was a dream.
First of all, I would like to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for having shown the patience to watch this whole piece of work which is a bit lengthy. So thank you everybody. Now before saying anything that is the documentation part of it, I would like to take this liberty of calling this a documentary or maybe a set of documented running frames rather calling it a movie because I feel most of it is something which has happened to me or maybe you, you would have experienced yourself. So there is some kind of connection which is made either ways. A beautiful dark maid, the name, beautiful dark maid. When I told this name to many people, they were like, what does it mean? Uh, they were not actually able to decipher it. That's the word that some had used. So <clears throat> that's why it was important for me to keep it a little hidden, you know. It was like, um, you know, rather a name, I felt it should be kept as a puzzle. It was important for me because unless a person watches the whole piece of thing, he won't be able to dismantle it and understand it. To comprehend the name, he needs to watch the whole thing. So that becomes a compulsion and I wanted that compulsion to be there. And that's the reason why the name was put that way. We have used many psychological concepts like lucid dreaming, you know, and then the deja vu. So these things which we hear in our normal life, daily life, but then we are not acquainted to it very closely. So I felt there has to be a tinge of it in anything that I make so that there is a, a psychological connection with it. That, that's, that's what the whole effort is all about. Now when it comes to lucid dreaming, in the initial stage of the documentary you would have seen uh, Edward McCarthy, that is the lead role. He finds a similarity or uh, maybe you can say that the dreams which were seen, the dream that was seen by him and by his friend Sam was the same. So, such a possibility, yes, it does exist, which is called as lucid dreaming, because there was a case reported in a state county, US, uh, 
Nevada, I believe. It was a case when a farmer, his name was his name was Tips, and there was another doctor, his name was Bakima. Uh, they have. They, it said that they have had the same dream for 13 years. A long period of 13 years, they've had similar dreams. Not not every day. Not not on an everyday basis. But then they have had same dreams. Such a case has been uh, reported. So the basic inspiration is from the case. You can say that is the first part. Now. <coughs> We've used deja vu that uh, that is you know having you know getting the feeling of having had seen this before, even that is incorporated. A small briefing is required, uh, so I'm uh, I'm following it very fast. Edward McCarthy, the lead role in this piece of work, is a very religious and confused guy. He's a he's a kid from within. He cannot be alone any time. He needs people around him all the time. So his his uh, state of the work that is Sam. Which is Samael and Rex, which is Rex. So <clears throat> they know it. They know the fact that he cannot be alone. So they play pranks on him. It happens. Uh, it happens once and then again. So these things disturb him a lot. Now, on a fine day, what happens is Edward walks in a dry land. He falls off. The very next day, he wants to express it to Sam, but Sam, in return, tells the same situation to him, in which Sam plays the lead, which ha which which is like something which happens to Sam, and Sam is narrating that to Ed, which in reality had happened to Ed. So Sam is telling it as a dream. So this fact shakes Ed. Ed is disturbed. Ed gets inside the room. He wants to change the mood. He asks them to go to the Neverland, which is the place where they hang out, all the, all, all the three of them. I mean, they drink, they booze, they, they do whatever they want to do. There's some place where they lie low. They go there, and from there, he, he tries to pull in the matter again. And when that happens, these two vanish. He's not able to find them. He's scared. He thinks they're trying to play a prank on him. He gets angry. He goes back. You know, he, he rushes back home. He barges inside the door. He starts abusing them. And when this happens, gradually, he graduates to a point where he realizes that he's just wearing his logs, what he, what he normally used to wear in his, you know, household time. I mean, when, he, when, when he's at his house, you know, when he's relaxing in his house, that's, that's the dress that he wears. So he's scared. He, he's totally embarrassed because when he turned back, he just realized that he was just from, he was just out of the bed. So all this is a dream, you know, he, he was just the hang of it. So he did it out of the hang of the dream which he had, which he had seen. So all this while, he he was in a dream. So the convulsions, all the chaos, everything was just a dream. Doing this, he's a little happy. He come out, comes outside. He sits, relaxed, relieved. Thing he wants to talk to Sam. He's sipping his coffee, and then once again, Sam tells him a dream, which is just the thing which he had dreamt of. He dreamt of it when he was sleeping, of these people vanishing. And that is said by Sam to Edward. So Edward is stunned once again. How can he do this another time to me? But Edward can't tell this on to Sam because the fact that Ed has seen the dream of Sam telling him the dream which had happened to Ed is a fact which is unknown to Sam. I know this is a little confusing, but that's the way that is. It is. Now, <clears throat> having heard this, Sam is scared. He wants to know if that's the truth. He goes out. The very first thing that a guy would search on to get an answer is Google. So he goes, just like any of the normal average guy, you know, a guy who is below average. He goes to the Google, he checks it in there, you know. Can two people have the same kind of dream? Yes. There were cases reported like that. Yes, two people, if they're planted in the same kind of situations, same scenario, yes, there are chances, there are high possibilities of both of them having the same kind of dream. That is possible. Knowing this, Sam states in his mind that, yes, that's possible, that two people can have the dream. But then, yes, again, Yet again, he was confused. How could that happen? How could he just fall off? How could he just faint off? He wanted to know the reason for it. So he goes back and he starts thinking from right from the scratch what happened, how it happened. He, 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 he's constantly disturbed by the combination of certain memories. You know, these things are pricking him from within. He, he goes back to the place, the Neverland, the so-called Neverland, where these people lie low. He checks out the place. He finds nothing. Everything's so much normal, you know. He comes back. He, he, he's tired. He sleeps off. And when he's getting up, he's waking up, he's once again clueless about what this is, if this is a reality or if this is a dream again. So he's scared. He moves slowly. He gets out of the room. He finally finalizes, yes, this is not a dream. This is a reality. Because he checks the time, he checks the date. He talks to Rex. He goes out and checks the weather. He wants to just make sure. He wants to seal it, you know, that this is not a dream. 
Now, all the three of them, they plan to watch a movie. They start watching the movie, but then Edward can't focus. So he gets out, he wants a shower. While walking, uh, Sam's laptop probably, it falls down. The sound comes, he walks, he starts he takes, taking a shower. And while taking the shower, this thing again disturbs him. But then he has known a fact, and there is a fact that was learned by him that a dream is a com convoluted combination of different events that strike you in a day or a time of two days. So he thinks accordingly and then he uh, thinks about all the happenings which had happened uh, recently and he gets on with all the different uh, activities that those three had done. And then he finally comes to know about that particular thing, you know, he, he realizes that there was a particular scene, there was a particular incident in his life where uh, he is forced to accept the death of his mentor, his good friend, his guide, that is Ajay. You know, he accepts it. So that's where this fainting thing comes off because Ajay had died fainting. He died like that, so that fact disturbs him, and that's the cause for the for his dream of fainting in the dry land. Now, and there was another question as well. Well, this is considered as a question, and the second question is again <coughs> the vanishing part. Now he again starts thinking, and he finally realizes that there was once a prank which was played on him by both of them. That is Sam and Rex. In a fine morning, they left him alone in a forest, so forest-like area, uh, precise to be. So that thing was the cause for his dream of. You know the, the vanishing dream in the Neverland once again. So he finds a solution for both the problems, and he's relieved again. And he gets out of the bathroom. And once he gets out of the bathroom, this thing hits him. How could Sam see all these things? If at all, if it was true, how could how could Sam have a sense of it? So that kind of derails derails him from that track of relief. Once again, he goes back. He tries walking, but then he slips. He falls, and then. Uh, thing breaks. Hearing this voice, Sam and Rex, they rush inside the room, they see him on the floor, he talk, they talk to him, what happened, Ed? But Ed is not in a position to tell them anything because he's fainting. And all of a sudden, he gets scared, he runs out, he opens the door and this opening of the door ends up in the waking moment of a sleep, which is, which is pretty much the whole thing. So everything that has happened till now was a dream. So Edward, which is happening in 2009, Edward is breaking out of a sleep. He gets up in his hotel room where he has, in Bangalore, where he has come to put a presentation somewhere, which was critically important for him. So what happens is that Edward has come to Bangalore to give a presentation. So for some reason, he couldn't attend the death anniversary of Ajay, who is his mentor. So this frustration caused him a little, you know, it made him more tired so he wanted to sleep for some time that is a, a time of half an hour half an hour which is shown in the documentary so <laughs> the wannabe documentary so this forces him to sleep for nine hours straight in the nine hours straight time span all these things happen so this is how it, this is how it all happens you know it, 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 all totally this is just a dream so that's where the name is dismantled you know the name is a beautiful dream rather a beautiful dark smear you know dark could be night it could be uh, very <clears throat> like it, the name signifies it's dark and made is something beautiful which serves so a beautiful thing which serves you at night is probably a dream so that's how it's dismantled it's a beautiful dream so that is beautiful dark made now through this I feel I'm pretty much fascinated by the statement which I've made at the end of it that is human brain is the most mysterious thing on earth and I wonder what made me say that yes this fact has fascinated me for years together we all should be proud that we have got such a complex brain yes I am myself so <laughs> but at the same point I, do you have any clue what is making me do that <laughs>